Do you know some Swahili? Yeah. Makupenda. What does that mean? I love you. You know that's the first thing you learn. Asante, thank you. To this extent of coming to Nairobi from Nigeria, mm. it will pass through Lagos, probably Abuja, mm. or some civilized city. Mm. Uh, hello guys, my name is Ken from Canada Media, and guess what? In the studio, we have one and only uh, who? Coach K. Swaga in the building. Yeah, for the first time, you are hosting an international guest from Nigeria, and we'll be uh, to talk about Akusiana na e. So mpende mtazamaji wa Kenado Media Just stay tuned and upate uhondo zaidi kusiana na Nigeria huyu Atakuwa tunajua ni kwa nini hapo hapa Kenya Ni nini anafanya na amikuwa kifanya nini Na na mini kwamba you will enjoy So bro, how, 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 how have you been? It's a big pleasure how is, It's a very big pleasure How is Kenya? Kenya is an awesome place a Green land with much happiness Okay, uh, let me just maybe uh, just uh, start by introducing yourself maybe to my uh, fans, just introduce to them who you are, where have you been, what are you doing in, in Kenya, and to tend there. I'm fascist in Coyote from Nigeria, and I've been in Kenya for two and a half years, and actually I'm into butchery business and fast food in Kenya, and sometimes we do contact to make people happy and to entertain people online. Okay. Do you know some Swahili? Yeah. Makupenda. <laughs> what does that mean? I love you. You know that's the first thing you learn. Asante, thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, so you can, maybe you can hear Swahili, but maybe talking the the problem. Yeah, just briefly, you know, when you are used to Africans, the intonations, you just read the rhythms to catch up so yeah. that you won't be in trouble or they won't manipulate you. Mm. Now, other than maybe Nairobi, uh, which uh, maybe where have you been in Kenya? Like, is there any other town or any place in Kenya that you know, not just Nairobi, Labda? Yeah, there is many other towns I've been to, like Navasha, I've been to Diani, I've been to Mombasa, I've been to Malindi, I've been to Tapa after mm. Diani, mm -hmm. I've been to just couples of other states, but mm. not much. Mm. You are just going maybe to visit the place or there's something important that uh, maybe was taking you to there, like maybe a job? No, actually, last year I was doing some music videos, so I visited a couple of places and I was doing some TikTok content, so I have to visit some place because I would just have to expose the world mm. and explain to the world that. So you are also a musician? Yeah, yeah, I do a lot of things. I felt like I'm a woman. Mm. I just have to keep on competing. Mm. Now in Kenya here, uh, when as Kenyans, when we see you Nigerians, uh, what comes in our minds, we normally have this notion that you Nigerians has a lot of money and that's why you are taking our Kenyan ladies. Uh, is it, is it where, do you ta where do you get the money from? Do you come with it or you just come here, you stay here? Because I've never seen a Nigerian man doing maybe a mujengo, just seeing them, seeing you guys, you having, you living a expensive life, putting on expensive uh, like clothes, it, uh, staying in good places like uh, you cannot get a maybe a Nigeria in Dandora, in Kayole. You see, what do you have to say about that? Mm, let, let, let me step down my bread so mm. we can take time to not to argue much but mm. have you seen someone living a particular place not trekking mm. the person is not trekking mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. if you are living somewhere to another place mm. is i think the person is having plan or the person is walking there before mm. Eh? Mm. migrating is because you are comfortable. Yeah, true. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so if you are migrating or you are traveling abroad. Mm. But, but you know, 
why we, we normally ask ourselves that questions in Kenya here we've seen some other guests from other countries like we have so many Tanzanians here they are just living cheap life we have Ugandans we have uh, Burundian they just selling jugus here but me I've never seen a Nigerian maybe uh, just selling uh, maybe tea eh? you you are always yeah, seeing... yeah, I do say tea mm. I have vitali, I serve people tea, I serve them smoky. But you do it in a hotel? Not a hotel, just my shop. I just do it. You me. see? You see, it's, it's your shop, it's your business. Yeah. But you now for, for the other citizens, maybe from other countries, you'll see them uh, maybe in the evening, walking from one place to another, just uh, selling uh, tea. No, it, I understand you now. Yep. The basic part of it is that... Mm -hmm. Most East Africa, you have privilege, mm. just like us there joining WU. Mm. You understand, there's an association of West Africa, True. there's an association of East Africa. True. So there is more priority for East Africa to work mm -hmm. here in Kenya, mm. but West Africa, you are not allowed to work. By Kenyan, so by Kenyan government or by Nigerian government? By Kenya government. Mm. You, you're not allowed to work only if you want to open a big company. Mm. Yeah, that's when, that's why it's hard for the Western mm. side because I have friends from when it's hard because of the, the tariff of the government. Mm. Once, once it comes from the foreigner and you maybe you are asked to pay maybe three hundred thousand shillings mm. for for the tax. Mm. What what kind of business are you putting on ground with will make you scared? Like what if you don't make money and you are giving government mm. you know definitely mm. that kind of business or they are encouraging foreigners mm. with big scale of money, not youth like us. Mm. Maybe you have just one million shillings and when you put it in the business that you're supposed to be using to survive, mm. you put it in the business and the business run down. It's true. And you are not a country member to even try to get a loan. Mm. My brother, mm. you'll be shocked. <laughs> it's true. Uh, now, maybe another question. Uh, the capital city in, in, for Nigeria is uh, Lagos. It, no. Mm. That, that was taken a long time ago mm. to Abuja. Abuja, Abuja now is the capital city yeah, of Nigeria. A time ago. Did you grow up in the village or in town, maybe? Mm, that is a beautiful question. Mm. Mm, you know, I grew up in the city, mm -hmm. but I have my grandma in the village, so we go to the village to mm. pass time there and probably holiday times, mm. or maybe mm. probably we are. We have break in school, so mm. we are used to the local life and we are used to the city life. Oh, you know, I've asked you that because in Kenya here, we grew up maybe watching Nigerian movies, listening to, uh, to Nigerian songs, and it's not like Kenya here. You, you know, in Kenya here, you will uh, understand, you will, you will not, uh, someone who has grew in the village and in town, you'll see the, maybe the different, just by uh, the Tunisian uh, uh, yes, accent. But now for you, like for you, uh, for Nigerians, it's, it's like the same. Everybody is from the city. No, actually, not everybody is from the city. Mm. But mostly, before you can see a local man that we want to go mm. to this extent of coming to Nairobi from Nigeria, mm. if we pass through Lagos, probably Abuja, mm. or some civilized city. Mm. So once you are getting there, mm. you meet friends, they will change your mentality, we learn fast as a Nigerian. Mm. When you say Nigeria, he wants to meet up. Mm. So within a week, is meeting up. Mm. But in Kenya, everybody does not even care about it, the way you dress. Mm. Only maybe they just, they are feeling like maybe you have, they want to manipulate you. Mm. Nobody cares, maybe you are wearing a sandal, you are going to work. Mm. The most important thing is for you to be effective at your work. Okay. So, but in Nigeria, mm. me, the youth have grown the fashion level to an extent we want to look like our artists. Mm. Oh, true. You know, in Kenya, mm. most of your the artists, they love to do like Tupac. 
Yeah, true. So, true. and the Christian home does not want their kids to do that. So, he's bringing a lot of complication that you can see the youth that wants to. So, if you want to see youth, maybe, but those are old fashioned. So, the, I can't say, mm. but probably me in Kenya don't fashion mm. dress, mm. maybe because of the code. Mm. Because if you are feeling cold and you are wearing Louis Vuitton that is just a shirt like this, mm -hmm. and the code cash you, mm. my brother, the Louis Vuitton will be thinking of mm. turning your braid because mm. you are just suffering yourself mm. instead of you to get a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah, understand? So the weather here is different from the weather there. Yeah, yeah. So when a Nigerian that is coming from the weather there, comes mm. you will easily grab with a Nigeria. Mm. So the same mm. as here too, if someone from here goes to Nigeria, mm. they will know is ah, why are you dressing like you are from the village? Mm. Because we believe people from the village dress. Mm. But here is not about them coming from the village. It's about the code. True. And uh, maybe you've been in Kenya for two two years. You must have interacted with Kenyan girls in one way or another, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe, let me ask you, if, uh, how, how are Kenyan girls when you compare to Nigerians? Mm. In terms of maybe... You know, mm. let me bring it out in a short point. Kenya girls feel like they are hot. They are, they are hot? Hot. Oh. Um, yeah, like hot in mm. their heart. Probably if you are meeting someone above 23 years old and they find it hard to forgive their man. Mm. If do you see any misunderstanding, mm. what she will be thinking is that she can easily rent an apartment on her own mm. and she will be take good care of the kids. Mm. But in Nigeria, there is no apartment like that. Mm -hmm. you, you think of building your own house. True. So if a Nigerian girl wants to leave your house, she mm. will first think of where she will stay. Mm. Mm. But here yeah, is just a month, you can easily gather money to just you understand? So they have, and they grow up that way. Mm. So the Kenya girls, the, if you meet any Kenya girls today, a man affords him. Mm. <laughs> and in Nigeria, even though a man hurts you, mm. they believe he's human being. You did not come from the same parents or the same father. So he must have his own character. Mm. So if a man hurts you, another man will treat you fine. Mm. But in Kenya, the lady will think like, mm. what this one did for me, mm. probably this one will do. Mm. But it's still a chance of life for you to just feel mm. like God is making you learn things from mm. these men coming over. Mm. You can't marry all the men that will toast you. Mm. So even though some come to your heart, your life to break your heart, you see a message of you being more stronger mm. because you don't know what you will meet in the future. Mm. Mm. And how comes, you know, uh, Nigeria is one country in Africa which is uh, known in almost everything. Like you get things to, to do with God, they are at the top. You hear of big pastors, you hear of big uh, maybe relig religion, uh, religious leaders, they are at the top. At the same time, when, you, when you, it comes to witchcraft, they're, they're at the top. Why, why, why that? You know, when you, when, you, when you want to look into Nigeria as a whole, mm. and you want to check the origin of like witchcraft, mm. you yourself, in your mindset, you are in the olden days. Mm. Am I lying? Yeah, no, no, no you, are, you are not lying. You are in the olden days. So putting your mindset in such country, mm to want to know more mm. is a huge tax for them there because mm. you need to, if I'm not buying a car this year mm. and I'm working, mm. in Nigeria I will be thinking maybe it's one which that is affecting me. Mm. But in Kenya, you will think maybe it's because you are not doing two to three works. Mm. Do you, let me ask you, do you believe that uh, Nigeria is the, maybe the best country in Africa? <sighs> when it comes to maybe e economically, economically education education Nigeria is the best mm. but why we can't pick Nigeria is because Nigeria is the most nationalist in Nigeria mm. they don't even love their country mm. oh that's why they are all over 
Yeah. Mm. So if if you ask a Kenya mm. citizen, do you like to go to America? Mm. If the only thing we answer you is that I don't have money. Mm. But it's not that it's desperate. Mm, but Nigeria, mm. did you want to go to America? Mm. He can go and sell his father's land mm. to pursue that dreams because it looks like you have opened the key to mm. the on, 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 on treasured treasured. Mm. You mm. understand? Because you know, I wanted to ask you that uh, you remember I asked you Nigeria is, is it that Nigeria is the best country? Then I was waiting for you to answer yes. Then I asked, and why do you think the Nigerians are all over the world? But now you've answered me that Nigerians don't love their own country. Yeah, but mm. when you come to Kenya, mm. and you as a Nigeria compared Nigeria to Kenya, mm. you will know that Nigeria is times 10 of Kenya. Mm. Yeah, because mm. in Nigeria I pay my house rent once in a year. Mm. And not the house rent is just maybe 30,000 mm. shillings. You understand? I understand. Not, I'll be able to save a lot to build my own house. Mm. Now, how do you think, uh, how do you feel uh, staying here in Kenya? Uh, will you be here in the rest of your life or are you planning to go back to Nigeria? No, Kenya is home. It's Africa. Mm. Everywhere can look like each other, but there is still some particular gains here mm. that you will muzzle you, mm. that you will know that you are still in Africa and Nairobi it's also a giant of Africa. Mm. Because when you come to Kenya mm. and they inspire you with some attitude mm. that looks like this bond or deadly. Mm. You understand? Yeah, you understand. yourself, you must do like Jack Shan. Mm. Or oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> Nairobi is a very crazy place because it's like Lagos in Nigeria. Mm. Most people come from the neighboring can't think. Yeah, like so Ghana. It's not that maybe before you can see someone that we tell you I'm I'm born in Nairobi, mm. I grew up in Nairobi, probably is think his parents they are abroad. Mm. Okay, and which any other country in Africa you've ever been in in it? In Africa? Yeah, like uh, I've been to Ghana, I've been to Cote d'Ivoire, I've been to Togo, I've mm. been to Benin Republic. I've been to Tanzania, I've been to Zazibra, I've been to Mali. Hey, yeah. Almost, in fact, not almost, more than 10 countries. Almost 10 countries. Yeah. How is your experience maybe in, uh, in Ghana? In Ghana, mm, Ghana is, is more or less mm. awesome with culture, mm. and the people there are very embracing mm. you're not like Kenya they will be telling you what are you doing in my country mm. Ghana will never ask you that Ghana don't want to even mm. make you feel like mm. eh, can I do more of this thing for you so that I can have is deliberate from you mm. but Kenya is just feel like maybe mm. you are taking away their woman or the, you are oppressing mm. them mm. and the funniest thing is that when you bring out most Kenyans, they have very distinctly rich, mm. but you might not see it in the addressing mm. because all these buildings in Nairobi, mm. <sighs> <laughs> where are the rich? Where are the, where are the owners? Mm. Those are the questions. Mm. Maybe it's the government. Government owns all the buildings, <laughs> those mansions, those. Come on. Are so they look, are in Nairobi, we, Kenyans don't believe they are rich. Mm. That's mm. the basic truth. Mm. If you see a Kenya huh, mm. that is, is even just having maybe 500 shillings per day, mm. he is thinking of using maybe 400 to drink. Mm. When you use 400 bob to drink mm. out of 500, how will you be rich? Mm. Well, I still have more questions to ask you, but because of time, I know you are in a hurry. Uh, let me maybe just uh, last. What's your wa last word to my fans? As you, even you prepared to go back to Nigeria, I know you'll be leaving to Nigeria, but I, I think you'll be coming back here. Yeah, you know me. I came to Kenya because I want to bring white to Africa. So I don't know if we had their choices we intake. Mm. It can be Kenya, mm. it can be Nigeria, mm. it can be Mali, mm. because I have mm. huge knowledge of that. Mm. I will be able to 
guide them, protect them, be a good tour guide, and they will be able to write history. Mm. And from there, I will be able to make them take blacks mm. for exposure too, so yeah. that they can have good life of how an advanced world looks like, mm. so we can easily make an mm. Africa a better place. True, true. Uh, just want to thank you for your time, uh, for just accepting to come to my interview. And I know my fans are happy. I, I know they have learned something. Maybe just you can just tell them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then yourself, you say that you are a musician. You can also tell them where they can find you. Ah. So it's a big pleasure. I'm having, I'm host here. And I feel more and more blessed because with a, for me to be alive with a huge privilege. So I want you to subscribe, like, and share. This is Coach K Swaga, and this is Rando, Ken Ando. Media, yeah.